So directories are useful in grouping together information that is often location-based, allowing users to search or filter results. As an example, this is a schools directory from Croydon. So there's a lot of schools in Croydon, as you can see from the map. So by having a directory and having what we call facets on the left-hand side here, it allows a user to filter the results. So you, they can only see, for instance, Catholic schools or schools in North Croydon. So that's one part of a directory. The, the other part is they often have a map. And then below that, you have individual entries. So within local club Drupal, these are called directory venues. It has information about the venue, including a map. So that is what directory actually is. If you want to create a new one, the best place to start is the facet. So a good place to start is think about your user needs. So when um, we were creating this directory for schools, we thought about the user needs that a parent, for example, might want to know. So they might want to know the type of school, the age range, the gender, the religion, the location. So we created facets based on user needs. So when you're creating a directory, that's, that's a good place to start. The example we're going to use is a parks directory. So what we're going to do to start off with is go to content directory facets. And I recommend that you check which facets are already in the system because they might already exist. So the one, the facets that I want to create are facilities. So things like basketball courts, toilets, netball courts, parking, things like that. So if someone was looking at a parks directory, they could break the results down. So you can see here that doesn't exist. So if you wanted to create a new one, a new facet type. So the facet type is would be facilities and the actual facets would be things like basketball courts, netball courts, parking. So we need to create a facet type first. So you go to content, and then if you hover over directory facets, you can see you've got add facet, directory facet and add directory facet type. So we click on add directory facet type and it brings up a blank one. So this is where we would type facilities. And you save that. And you'll see now it's added facilities to our list of all the different facet types within the system. And then we need to add an actual facet. So you go back to content, directory facets, add directory facet. So it will give you a list of the facet types. So you need to click facilities because that's the facet type we created. And we'll just create two for now. So we will say maybe basketball courts. Save that. And you can see it, it, it's added a facet type of basketball, a facet type of facility, sorry, with a facet of basketball courts. And then there's a button up here that says add directory facets. So you can add another one there, click facilities, and we'll add a second one, which is parking. Save that. So you can now see we've got two facets of basketball courts and parking and both under the facet type of facilities. So that's how you create and see facets. Next, you need to create the actual channel. So a good starting point is if you go to content and use this drop down here, click on directory channel. That allow you to see any directory channels that have already been created. So on this one, there's two. So if you want to create a new one, there's a button up here that says add content, or you can just go content, add content, directory channel. So firstly, you need to add the title. So in this example here from Cumbria, this piece of text here is the title. It's useful to have directory actually in the title. So we're going to say directory of parks. Next, you need to add the parents. So this is how you create the navigation. So in this example here, this sits within ceremonies. 
within this site there isn't anything currently about parks so we're going to put it in ceremonies too if you see anything with these magnifying glasses it's a lookup so you just need to start typing and you'll see this is the page we want so that will place it within ceremonies then you have a summary and a body field so in this example here summary text is this text that sits below the title and then the body text is this text here so the summary text obviously summarizes what the what the directory is all about and then the body text introduces the channel so a summary text would be something like um a directory of parks and open spaces in Cumbria including details of sports facilities, parking and opening hours or something along those lines. We're not going to do this now but um, you'd also put a body text in here where however you wanted to sort of introduce the subject. Um, and then next you've got a section called enabled facets so because we've already created the facets it's now listed here so you can see it's listed under facilities so you need to tick the ones that you want to enable so you can tick more than one but in this instance we're going to just tick facilities um, and then you've got enable content types so you can enable pages or venues the difference between them is venues have mapping and address functionality which pages don't so because we're doing parks and we want people to actually find them on a map, we're going to click Venue. So I'm just going to move that Publish button to Unpublish because we're just working in a draft format for now. And then you can just click Save. And you can see that has created the channel. It's placed it within Ceremonies. It has our summary text here. Uh, and then it has the body text and it has no results were found. That's because we haven't created our first venue yet. So we're going to do that now. So you go to content, add content, directory venue. So this is where you would add the first of your parks. So I'm just going to completely make something up here. So in terms of what these fields are, if you have a look at this example here, so again, this is the directory venue title. This is the directory venue summary. This is the directory venue body text. So you'll see here it's got this summary. So um, that could be something like a large central park in um, Carlisle open 24 hours a day um, again we're not going to do this but you, this is where you would put some body text um, you can add attachments so in this example here you can see there's an attachment of a ceremony room so you could attach a photo of the park you can see on the left here there's four tabs so that's the description next is the directory so this is how you place it within the directory channel. So you'll see there's a directory of parts listed here under primary. So we're going to tick that. Um, you can place it in more than one directory as well. So you can place it in a secondary directory if you wanted to. And then you can see the facet section. So because we've enabled facilities, it's bringing up this list here. So we're going to say that this park has basketball courts and parking. So we'll tick both of them. Obviously, this would be a longer list if you've done this properly and you would just select the ones that it actually does have. So that's that second tab. Third tab is inquiries. So this is all your contact details. You've got contact name, contact job title, phone numbers, email addresses. You can put a URL as well um, if there was a particular website you wanted to link to. And then the last one is venue. So this is how it creates the uh, mapping. So you would put the address details in here, 
that has such a new accessibility. So there's some useful text here, any information about access or restrictions that we address. Um, so you could say something like steps up to the entrance or something. Um, then there's opening times you can put into here. And then there's some notes if there's just like an extra field, if there's some extra information you wanted to include. So I think I'm going to have to put something in here for it to let me proceed. So we will add this park here. I'm just going to, again, just switch off publishing so it doesn't put it live and then save that. So this is our directory venue. So again, you can see the title, the summary, and then you can see a map. And if you zoom in, you'll see that this has located it in a park in Hove. Um, and it's also automatically added the address details as well. So to go back to the directory channel, if you see up here, it's created navigation. So you can click on directory of parks. Oh, actually, the reason that's not showing is because I think it does need to be published, actually. So let's just do that now. So there's a toolbar up here, which is view, edit, delete, revision. So you go back into edit. Let's switch that published on and save it. And you'll see now it appears. So it's also included a facet search as well. So if, you, if I was a user and I only wanted to know about parks with basketball courts, I could tick this and it would filter it, but obviously we've only got one entry. As the different venues are created, this will create these um, pointers on this map here. So people can zoom in and find ones near to them. And then they can click into the actual entry here and you'll see that that's the uh, details of that particular park. Um, if you want to create a um, directory page, you just go to add content and then you just select that option instead. So that is how you create directories. Um, just to reiterate as well, if you want to find all the directories, you go to content and then content type drop down. And if you wanted to find all the venues, you just click directory venue filter. And that will show you all of the different venues. And then if you want to see all the different channels, click directory channel filter, and that will show you all of those. Thanks for listening. And if you are interested in any new content we produce, if you subscribe to the local GovDrupal channel, you'll get alerted to any new videos that we produce. Thank you.